Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Elbrunen here again, and after reading the patch notes, the two characters I wanted to try out were Shinobu and Susamaru. So I'm going to start with Shinobu, because she feels like the least of a war crime. But basically what changed with Shinobu is that now um, her guard special actually works really good as a combo ender and a combo extender now. And it actually does, like, proper damage, and at least has some cool new combo routes that she wasn't able to do before. Okay, that was a little bit of a waste. That was too late in the combo for that. I should have just taken the hard knockdown. Also, did you notice? I finally have these characters now. And no, I did not unlock them by completing the story mode. I unlocked them by paying for them. Oh! He brought up his support too? Calm down. These people in their supports need to chill the heck out. He saw his buff to his... He saw the buff to his parry and said, I can just throw it out, and surely they're going to hit me at some point. I don't actually remember what the other changes for Shinobu were. I feel like I should check them out so I can abuse them. I don't think she got any... Yeah, okay, that combo is kind of a waste of meter. Oh, that actually worked. Nice. I'm surprised that I actually remember how to do even the slightest amount of stuff with Shonobu after not having playing with her for so long because I haven't played with any of the Slayers for so long. I think a throws that reset should work here. Did she get a buff to her throw damage? No, that was someone... It was like everyone else. I don't remember. I feel like she got two changes and I don't remember what they were. Oopsie. Oh, damn it, she has really short range thing. No! God damn it. I think he should still have a red guard, though. Oh. Lol. Oh no! Okay, I messed it up, so I'm glad he broke out anyways. Ah, damn it. Okay, yeah, that does actually last a really long amount of time now. Okay. <laughs> he ran into it. Ah, okay, I need to make sure I watch how much combo timer I actually have, because I practice that combo in training mode, but it only works if I do a really small amount of hits at the start. So if I do do that, like, extra link of the extra dashing up and stuff, I should either just end it early and go straight into the guard special again to get the extra damage, or... Wow, how did that reach me from so far? Is that gonna kill me? Actually, that is doing a lot of damage, huh? Oop, sauce, bro. I delayed it too much. Okay, the reason I'm trying to go for... Like, you can do these combos super easily just by dash cancelling, but I'm trying to do a sidestep cancel into a delayed attack afterwards. Oh, that was nearly really cool, if it had worked. But I'm trying to do a delayed attack after the sidestep cancel, because that lets me... Um... Oh, nice. It lets me go for those meterless dash-in aerial combo loops. Oh, I love when that happens. Oh, why did that happen? No, ma'am. We're not having that. Damn it. 
Take a hard knockdown. Bring out a Gyu. Boom. Yeah, so... It doesn't matter what that other change was. The one change that she got to her guard special... Or it was actually two changes. Because it does more damage. It does, I think, 800 damage now. Um, where it used to do 100. So now it's actually a damaging combo ender in combination with the poison. It's a total of over 16,000. And... Oh... And because you can dash cancel it, I can use it in my combos and at the end of my combos to actually get like an amount of damage that I would call average, which is not something Shinobu could do before. Ooh, nice. But I think he could have actually punished me, but that does a lot of damage. I'm breaking out of that. Thank you. Well, that doesn't work. What the heck? At least he seems pretty game to just play Giyu, because if he did change characters into Nezuko, he would take off all the poison damage. That's a few too many parries there, sir. I know I fell for it for a lot of times, but even three in a row is a little bit pushing my limits. I'm starting to feel insulted. Oh, I could have done my... Yeah, I could have done the... The poison thing while he was in the air instead of just doing a dash up would have added a bunch of damage. Oh, that's actually plus. I wasn't know about that. I thought I would test it out. Sorry. Ah, no. I tried to cancel into my tilt special, thought I'd catch him. Didn't work. Live and learn. Nice. Giyu basically just got faster and a longer parry. Yes! No! <gasps> yes! Oh! Okay, I thought I'd bring Giyu out to like make my combo do more damage, but he actually pushed the opponent away from my attacks that my combo actually broke. No, enough parries. Basically tell that whenever I get close, it's just going to be a parry at this point. Or a block. Or a parry. Whoa, why did I dash so far away from him? Oh no! I didn't have- I spent too much meter, oopsie. Nice. I love being able to abuse supports, but at the same time I hate supports. I think that's really the one thing that made me the most disappointed about this patch. Is I explained in the video where I was talking about the changes that I, it was really good and really disappointing at the same time. Really good in that they're willing to actually make a balance patch, but the actual contents of it was a little bit sad. Like, they didn't address any of the things that actually really bug me and other people about the game. So it was like, cool, we got a balance patch for what, though? How much damage will this do? Well, it's pretty good. Oh, my, I'm plus. My grab comes out first. I hope I fall out. Yes. Oh, damn it. Okay, his water wheel has way more priority than my silly dash in. Oh, he was really mashing that then. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to throw every time I'm up close to him. 
Don't be happy about that. Don't be happy about that. Ooh. Okay, nice parry. I tried to do the same thing. Shut up. <laughs> oh, nice reactions. No combo though. Nice. Luckily, when I'm in the air, it doesn't really matter. Ah! Are you kidding me? The summon of Nezuko pushed me that my grab didn't even hit. See, that's what I'm talking about. The ports are whack in this game. No. Which is why I should use them more. Ah, god damn it. I keep thinking I can do something against that water wheel, but I cannot get over that hitbox. Oh my god, how is he still plus there? What is going on? I'm dying. That's what's really going on, but I don't know what. Oh my god. Okay, maybe, maybe I should try blocking. I haven't done that in a while. Are you kidding me? I hit Nezuko. See, every two seconds I have an excuse to complain about something that's happening on the screens with supports. Yeah, dash it on me, let me so I can do my surge. God damn it. Any engage he goes for is either gonna be a parry or a water wheel. And I guess going for my armor attack kind of works against both of them, so I'll just abuse that more. Oh, but it did not work against whatever the heck just happened there. What are these combos? Lol. Does this punish? No, it doesn't go anywhere. Crap. No, why did I use my support in neutral? Oh, he, mi he messed up, he messed up. Oh, okay. Of course he parried. No, and that was the last game too. Damn it. And I fell victim to the one thing I was saying he was using too much. <laughs> That's my own loss. I have nothing to complain about there. Let's hope we find him again and I can get my ego revenge. Oh, okay. Now we're against Akaza, a character I think was... Equally nerfed and buffed, they made the hitbox for his dive kick bigger and the damage on his collapse larger. But they did make- did that catch my landing recovery? Are you kidding me? They did make it so the damp- uh, he gets a red combo off of his projectile snap, which I think is actually a really big change, which I like. Because now he basically can't convert off of it at all for any reasonable- are you kidding me? Ah, damn it. I wish that was like projectile invincible or something, because she's like kind of miraging through things. He can react to my fast ass dashing? Are you kidding? Nice. Okay. Why you stomping? Knows some stuff about the game. He knows how to play, unfortunately. Because I don't. Nice. 
Oof, yeah. I actually might punish it by default because I get left in the air from that. So I have to be a little bit more careful against the Kaza, I suppose. No, how did that... Damn it, I didn't realize I was hitting buttons on the ground. Damn, okay, lots of pushback into Compass Needle, so I think I might just be a little bit more defensive, and hopefully he'll do it on accident. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, he's playing a good mix of offensive and defensive, and I'm choosing the wrong option every time. Damn it, I, that, I was punishable after that. Okay, I guess I'll just do one attack next time. Oh my god, that hit my landing recovery again. Are you kidding? It's not going good. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that was a lot of meter. Oops. Cool. He's gonna break out. Let's catch him. Oh no. Oh, yes, I timed that correctly. Awesome. Oh, that was some nice damage, and I didn't even use any new combos. Oh, how did I get hit? Damn it. I didn't... That was bad. I meant to dash in and go for a throw, and then I guess I didn't block correctly, and it just ended up being a full attack string... And I thought he would go out of surge mode, so I kept it going, and it, it didn't work. But I think we can take the rematch. I think if we focus, we can take this. I just really need to make sure I'm thinking about him going for the compass needle, and just keeping myself super safe, and of course just... Oh, he did it there? Man, this guy's crazy. I guess he's actually reacting to my jumps and using it as an anti-air. Are you kidding me? Okay, at least he didn't. Damn it. Cool. Like, it was kind of a fluffy random combo, but it worked. Ah, damn it, that was way too early. Oh yes, okay, so I am actually safe when I do that and just block. Just build back all of our meter. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. At least he's used Rokaza, I feel like saving a meter for surges and boosts is more efficient because of how much he regens. So at least he spent all three bars on this combo. There wasn't actually too much damage, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. Oh, but he's still in surge mode. Nope. Yep. Oh god, that didn't kill. I don't know how to optimize it there, I'm sorry. Cool. Just hit him with a thousand attacks and surely something will work. Okay, taking two games, let's keep it going. Oh, 
No, I don't know why I did such a stupid combo. <laughs> but cute, but but supports are overpowered, and I still won. <laughs> What's more useful than ending your combo with a level three ultimate? Just throwing out a support at a random time. It'll get you further and do more for you than its tryhard combo. And yeah, the power of supports made him leave. Anyways. Shinobu seems like she's a decent amount stronger than she was before, thanks to these useful combos. I know the combos that I was doing there were not at all optimized, but even just being able to free form, putting poison into your combos, seems like it added a decent amount of damage to her game plan. And yeah, just that alone made her feel like a more fun, free flow character. So I highly suggest you try her out, see if she feels any different to you. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in whatever the next one is. Bye!